2023 is considered the universal year. And so you want to take that universal year, which is 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 equals 7. And then you want to add your own day and month. So for you, it would be October 21st, 2023. Um, that gives me an 11. And so you are in going to be an 11-2 personal year. And sometimes um, 11 is actually considered a master number. So sometimes I write numbers as fractions, and that's because they give me more information before that final reduction. So that 11 is, it, I like to view it as a doorway. It's your invitation to the other side, to a whole new world. Um, and 11 energy is a lot of times people will get married. Um, they'll have a baby. It deals with relationships. It um, deals with partnerships. It's going to teach you about patience. <laughs> it's, um, But it, it really is going to teach you about, you know, mediation, getting along with people, compromise, that kind of thing. But in an 11-2 year specifically, there's always a destined event. So Ooh. if people, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> um, so if people just add their month, their day of birth, and the calendar year, they will have their personal year cycle. And, and so would you define that as like your theme for the year? Yeah, it really like is. what to expect, right? And it's From, crazy okay. accurate. And I know there's um, there's sort of some numerologists use this crazy formula where they take your birthday and add your age and all sorts of stuff. I don't find that one accurate. I've done thousands and thousands of readings. Um, the When we're all under that vibration of 2023, that's what we're feeling. That's what we're dealing with. And so I look at the age vibration as a completely separate number. So, you know, I think I want to say there's 31. Well, 32 now. <laughs> 32 now. Oh, you just had a birthday. Yes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, so 32. So that's a five age vibration. So I would look yeah. at that as a secondary theme. Um, and then, Okay. So you're saying that's secondary after your personal cycle. Like the cycle yeah. was the 11, 2, and then under that is a 5. For sure. And so five brings change and shift. It involves a lot of media. A lot of times in a five year, people will see their star rise. They'll gain some, you know, I don't know. I don't know how high, how high can you go? <laughs> well, I, I was curious what to expect this year because my life path is a 23 five. So this is like, and, and 23 was a really pivotal year for me. It was a year where a lot changed. And now I'm 32 and I'm like, I know it's the flip. I, I, I know it's going to be important, but I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> is, how do you see that when, when it's like a flip of your life path number? Five year with a, an 11 two. So I almost look at them sort of, I look at them as two separate numbers, but I'll combine those meanings. So I would say for you, there's going to be big changes in relationships, possibly relationship status. Um, I do a lot of fertility dating. I would tell you that you are extra, extra fertile right now. So, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> plan accordingly. Right? You have okay. the information now. Wow. Um, yeah. So there's different times where it really makes sense to have a baby or have a family, get married. Um, and then there's times where it, it doesn't make as much sense. And those tend to be... You know, like I see a lot of times in, in let's say, a nine cycle um, where people will have miscarriages or like things just don't take root. It's not a great time to start things. So you can look at this and go, OK, what should I be working on? What should I be planning? But an 11 is considered a master number year. And so in this year of change, because of that five, the 11 I would say that there is something, a big destined event, and things will not look the same for you this time next year. Yeah. I, and, and one thing, I've actually made a YouTube video about this concept of personal cycles because I love, like, I have a note on my phone where I went back each year, like one through nine, like what year, because you, you kind of, your life goes in cycles. Like a one is a new beginning and the nine is the ending, right? Looking at it retrospectively, it's, it's amazingly accurate. It's crazy. 
And so when you see that, then you start going, okay, how can I use this looking forward?